Hi, everybody. This is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week, we're going to take a look at how to access the various files and folders that you set up on file sharing on your iOS devices. Uh, one of the benefits of having a server is to be able to access all these different file shares remotely and to be able to access those not only from your Mac but also from your iOS devices uh, is a huge advantage of running a server. Now before we get started taking a look at uh, how we access those and specifically this week we're going to take a look at a specific application uh, that would help you actually access your shares and go through them in a folder structure just like you've got your share set up here. Uh, what I want to do is just is just uh, show again how you get your share set up so that you can access them on your iOS device. So if we come into um, you know this area here, we can take a look at uh, let's look at pictures for a second. Let's edit that for a minute. Now, in order to have access to this folder on my actual iOS device, I've got to make sure that I check the share over web dev. Uh, checkbox there because that allows me to share it via iOS. Uh, most of the applications that you'll be using on your iOS device will have some kind of uh, ability to access shares via WebDAV. So you want to make sure that this is checked. If this box isn't checked on your share, then that share will not be available to your iOS devices. Now, with AFP and SMP, uh, SMB, you can uh, uh, share that with your uh, Mac devices because you can connect to those things with the connect to server command uh, but again you need this in order for it to work with your iOS devices so let me just cancel here for a minute uh, one other thing that uh, can happen as well is with the, the wiki if you set up uh, things on your wiki those things will also be available file wise as long as you check this box right here to enable web dev access to wiki files and so you want to make sure that's checked as well so once you have those things checked and set up and then you're all set to go so let's go over to our iPad here. And what I'm going to do is walk you through an application called Documents 5. Uh, the beauty of Documents 5 is, first of all, the fact that it's free. Uh, but what it does is it actually brings the uh, file and folder structure to your iOS device so that you can actually scroll through the different files and things you have in different locations and actually uh, basically use it like a file system like you would the Finder. So let's go ahead and uh, open the application. Like I said, it's free. I'm going to open it here for the first time and let's take a look at setting it up. Uh, so first thing you see is you can subscribe to their email newsletter. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of that. You can just subscribe if you want to do that. But if you take a look here, you'll notice it's almost like a mini finder uh, the way that it's set up. We've got a sidebar down the side that shows us our documents. We've got a thing for iCloud, network browser, add-ons, uh, and even, even some information to log into Dropbox or into Box uh, on the side there. And then in the middle here, we've got all of these different sample uh, documents that are in here. And you'll notice I've also got a folder for my uh, iPad photo library uh, because that integrates with it as well. And so you can go through these various files. So like uh, as you can see, there's uh, audio files, there's documents and all of that in there. Uh, so for instance, if I just uh, tap on the picture here, you can see the picture has popped up. Now as I'm doing the screencast, you'll notice a little bar on the bottom that says screen mirroring and document and screenshot and all of that. Uh, just disregard that. You won't see that. The reason I'm seeing that right now is because I am doing a uh, mirroring my iPad onto my Mac to do this screencast, and that's why you're seeing that. Uh, but when the documents come up, you can do things like share them, uh, you can download them, you can delete them, and we can just go right back into the documents here. And it'll take a whole bunch of documents. You can see a zip file there that'll unzip. Uh, you can also play audio uh, and video within this as well. And you'll notice that I opened that uh, picture, and you'll notice on the sidebar there under Recents, it shows the fact that I opened a picture. So it even tracks your Recents and, uh, and, and those types of things as well. Uh, to make to make that work. If I just uh, were to tap on uh, another one, let's hit the quotes for a minute, you can see now it's a documents area right here that allows me to uh, you know view a basic document and you can do that with all kinds of things. Now if I just tap up in the corner there, you'll see that I can uh, I can open it in another application, send it by email, uh, enable night mode if I wanted to, or print it right from within um, the documents application here. So let's just go back. And so that gives you an idea of just, you know, just some basics on how it functions. You can see, again, under the recents, the quotes have been added. Uh, there's a few other features, but the main thing that I want to show you is its ability to uh, connect up to your server and then allow you to use it as a document viewer on your iOS device. So if we come over to the network here in the sidebar and we click this, you can see that 
Uh, Documents 5 has access to all of these different online services. You can connect Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, OneDrive, all of that. But you'll also notice that right in the middle there, we've got WebDAV server, FTP server, SFTP server right across the front there. And so what we're going to do to set this up in order for it to work with server is to click on the uh, or tap on the WebDAV server. Now, once this comes up, it's going to ask us to put in our information uh, about the server. So you're going to put in a title. You'll put in a URL uh, for it uh, on there. If the, and basically, that would just be your server address. Uh, you can also put your domain on the bottom as well and a login and password. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information in there, and then I'll show you what it looks like uh, once I have it all set and ready to go. Okay, now that I've got my information in there, you can see I've got a title. I just called it Home Server. I've got my URL, which is my server address. Uh, again, you need to have a, a domain for this, a domain uh, address. I've got my login and password. You can put an optional domain in there if you want to, but I'm just going to tap Save up on the right-hand corner. And what it's going to do is it's going to check to be able to connect to my server and look it just connected to my server very simply you can see it says home server across the top and you'll notice that I've got my shares uh, there in the folders I've got my documents that I shared uh, the Drobo's there that I shared music pictures uh, and another file that I've got there what's great is that now I can actually go through and um, view these things so if I, I tap on pictures uh, now I go into basically my folder structure for my pictures and these are the various things that I have you can see I've got uh, my aperture library and things now obviously you're not going to be able to open package files uh, on your uh, iOS device uh, but you can actually take a look at uh, other photos and applications that you've got so you know photos to file you can see there I've got different uh, fold uh, files there those are all uh, different um, uh, photos that I've got so I can add those things onto my iOS device and so right now I've got access to all of those shares so that I can uh, I can do what I want to with those things now one of the things that I can do is uh, once I add uh, add a file or add something to a share uh, it shows up on my documents page so let me just show you what that looks like here with a uh, with a folder uh, or file that I want to add okay so I added a a file here uh, vacation 2013 file and I just want to show you how that works uh, what I can do is I can actually tap this sync button up in the top if I wanted to and I could actually choose a folder that I want to use to sync two ways so that what will happen is is that when I work on these files and things on my actual iPad uh, or my iOS device it will sync those changes with all with that folder everywhere else that that folder is and it'll keep it uh, it'll keep it in sync so that everything stays that way so it allows you to work on your iOS device and make changes and then have those changes take effect as well on other devices uh, so what I'm gonna do is let me just uh, tap on vacation right here and you can see I've got some photos in there uh, from what I took on vacation if I tap on sync for instance it says you want to sync that folder so I'd say sure let's sync it and so it says the sync folder was added to documents so let me just come back to documents here for a minute and show you that now you can see the vacation folder is there and you can see that it has the little globe on there which lets me know where it's coming from and that is from my server if I tap into that there are the photos that I have that were in that uh, folder and they're right inside this documents application so that I can use them and, and do things with them if I wanted to uh, I can cl I can click the edit and I can uh, do all kinds of things on the sidebar there. I can copy them, I can move them, I can rename them, delete them, I can do merges, I can do zips, I can even star uh, some of these things if I want to. So let's say I want to star this particular uh, photo right here. I'm going to click the star button and so now you can see it's added a star to it. Uh, I can color tag it, mail it, upload it, I can open it in another application. I mean there are all kinds of things I can do with it. Let me just tap done here and you see that I starred that and you'll notice that down in the sidebar now I've got a timer and I've got a star so that so the little clock there shows my recent um, different uh, files that I've pulled up and the star shows me my favorites so I can really set this up to work quickly for me as a file manager on my iOS device and if you set it up uh, right you'll have the ability to actually just flip through various things and customize this interface to really be the finder for you uh, that's kind of missing on your iPad. This also works on the iPhone and uh, other iOS devices as well. So it works on all of those and with that sync feature you can keep them in sync. Uh, you'll also notice that in the sidebar there now my home server is showing with the globe 
you know, if I tap on that, I go back into my home server on my network there where I was, and I can kind of come back into the network. If I go all the way out, I come back to this accounts page where I can add other servers if I want to. I can combine this with Dropbox and Box. Uh, I can sync all my folders if I want to. And it also will um, enable uh, available devices. If you're on your local network, it picks up uh, your server on there, and you can connect to your server on a local network uh, as opposed to setting up the, w the way that we did for a remote network. So that gives you kind of an idea of how you can use it for server. Uh, it's got other things built in as well. I mean, there's an iCloud area here that anything you drag in, into this area uh, will then be available on iCloud, uh, which is very nice. Uh, it's also got a built-in browser so that you can use the web browser to get to various sites to be able to download uh, files and documents into uh, the documents application itself, so in, into Documents 5. So that's kind of a nice way of doing it. You don't have to go outside and download it somewhere and then try to get it in here. You can actually download those files right inside the application itself. Now, this particular application uh, does work with uh, other applications that are uh, put together by Riedel. And so you can have the scan documents and receipts. There's a print uh, documents and web uh, pages. There's a PDF annotation software and all of that. And all of this will integrate inside of Documents 5 uh, if you want to you know, get those type of applications. Uh, again, it's up to you on what you want to do with it. But if you wanted to, you could use them that way as well. Now, one more thing we can take a look at. You have the settings up here. You can change some things if you want to. You can set a pass key lock on it if you're concerned about that. Uh, maybe you've got uh, files on your server that you don't want people to have access to. So you can uh, set up a pass key lock just for this application, uh, as well as iOS uh, data protection as well, where the files are encrypted uh, when the lock uh, device is on. Uh, you can also set up uh, set up as a Wi-Fi drive, uh, where uh, again it'll 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 go into your network and parse the different things on WebDAV on your local network, and you can see that's what it's picking up down there uh, underneath the Wi-Fi uh, wi drive help area right there. Uh, you've got your sync settings right here where you can say Wi-Fi only if you want to do it on cellular. Uh, and then you can just do other you know other things with the browser, customize that a little bit or enable it or disable it. Uh, you can do some things with the viewers. Uh, again, it just gives you a lot of nice things that you can do. Um, again, with the file manager, you can show the uh, extensions if you want to or not. Uh, you can choose to show or hide photos if you want to do that. Uh, so as you can see, uh, this is just kind of a quick tour of this application. But as you can see, uh, this uh, Documents 5 by Riedel really can become the file browser that you need uh, in working with OS X Server. As long as you just connect it, you can choose what you want to have show here in your documents. And the nice thing is you can actually you know, move things around if you wanted to. You, know, you can grab these things and actually drop them into folders just like you would on the Finder. You can use drag and drop to organize them. Or you can just you know, hit the edit button and select a couple of items and then move two items into a particular folder if you wanted to and create another folder on the other, uh, inside the other one. So I mean there's different ways that you can make that, uh, make that work. I'm just going to put T on that just to create a quick folder. And then I've got another folder in there with the three items that I moved inside it. If I tap on it, there they are. So as you can see, uh, Riedel, uh, Riedel's Documents 5, uh, like I said, can be the file browser that you really need uh, when you want to uh, browse the different shares that you've got on your server. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.